Brian, what's the opposite of a disturbance? Oh, uh, a positive, upwarming feeling of yeah. goodness in the force. Well, if you felt a very positive, <laughs> upwarming, good feeling in the force this morning, it's because there's actually some good news about a Star Wars uh, game from EA. Game writer and designer Chris Avalone has revealed he has just finished writing for the soon-to-be fully revealed Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, the upcoming Respawn game that picks up right where Revenge of the Sith left off. That's right. We haven't heard much about Fallen Order since the title was unceremoniously revealed by Vince Zampella during last year's EA E3 press conference. He was like, sitting on a bench and he was like, we're making a Star Wars game. So the Star Wars name is Jedi Fallen Order. Woo! It was really weird. We'll be lightsaber. That's right. Does that mean I get to like hold a lightsaber? Yes. <laughs> After two back-to-back multiplayer-centric Battlefront games, although Battlefront 2 had a short story campaign and a slew of Star Wars game cancellations at EA, single-player Star Wars fans are probably deserving a little bit better. But hot off the immensely popular Apex Legends, developer Respawn is set to force pull back the curtain at Star Wars Celebration next month. So why should it matter to you that Avalon is writing Fallen Order? Well, he was the lead designer and writer on Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, for one. He also wrote for Fallout New Vegas, one of the most revered entries in that series. He's also the narrative designer on the upcoming Dying Light 2, helped out with the excellent Divinity Original Sin 2, and was a writer on 2017's Prey. That is an incredible portfolio. Uh, so this would seem like a good sign for a story-driven Star Wars game, something we've been starving for since EA acquired the license back in 2013. Since then, the only Star Wars games the publisher has released, and I'm tracking this, have been Battlefronts 1 and 2 and some mobile stuff, and it noticeably canceled a very, very promising sounding single-player Star Wars game from Dead Space developer Visceral. That one hurt. Real quick, here's a great opportunity to state my list of demands for this game. Respawn made Titanfall, a game about piloting giant machines and charging into battle. Apex ditched Titans in favor of speedier player movement, but in Star Wars, Jedis have both incredible fast movement and they often have access to ATSTs, ATTEs, speeder bikes, and a whole bunch of other cool robot vehicle things. So respawn, give us cool robot vehicles to ride. Do it. Which one's the ATTE? It's weird looking. It's 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 kind of chunky. It's, oh, it's one of the chunky ones. Yeah. All right. Well, we are set to finally learn all about Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order at Star Wars Celebration next month, and it is expected to be released later this year. What do you think? Is this an EA game you can get behind? Let us know in the comments, and stay tuned for more updates here at IGN now. EA, don't cancel this one. It's a chunky one.